welcome to Watch Mojo. And today, we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Samuel L. Jackson kills. And I will strike down upon thee with great vengeance and furious anger. For this list, we'll be looking at the best big screen death scenes committed by characters played by the legendary actor. Since we'll be talking about the fates of various characters, we'll be getting into some monkey fighting spoilers on this Monday to Friday plane, as a censor Jackson would say. We're not limiting this one to one death per movie, since some of these are too good to pass up. What's your favorite Samuel L. Jackson kill? Let us know in the comments. Number 10, Death of Dukovich, the Hitman's Bodyguard. Samuel L. Jackson was well into his 60s when he made this action comedy with Ryan Reynolds. Oh, thank God you're here. I don't know what I would have done without you. But Jackson's energy is so great, you would never guess he was that old. Vladislav Dukovic, the bloodthirsty dictator of Belarus, played by Gary Oldman, has targeted Jackson's Darius Kincaid, a hitman who testified against him. Because while I was there, he ordered his men to slaughter a village outside Polatsk. I'm not down with killing innocent people. After setting off an explosive device in a courtroom, Dukovic tries to escape via helicopter, but Kincaid gets rid of both Dukovic's escape vehicle and Dukovic, who first delivers a monologue that doesn't quite land with Kincaid. Finish me! But don't think for a moment it will change what you are. And in proper Sam Jackson fashion, we're treated to plenty of profanity. Number 9, Death of Caretaker, Glass. The final installment in the unexpected Unbreakable trilogy, Glass unfortunately didn't live up to M. Night Shyamalan's predecessors. First name, Mr. Last name, Glass. But it still included some excellent work from its stars, particularly Jackson. Returning as the villainous and institutionalized Elijah Price, or Mr. Glass, Jackson keeps us on the edge of our seats. We never know just exactly what Glass is capable of. While escaping from the facility where James McAvoy's Kevin and Bruce Willis's David are also being held, Glass kills his caretaker with a piece of, well, himself. It took a bitch ass long time to find the right piece. This was after they attempted to lobotomize him, a procedure that Glass was able to sabotage. Glass might not be a good guy, but he is great to watch. Are you ready? Yeah. Number eight, Radical Environmentalism, Kingsman, The Secret Service. By far the biggest kill count by any Samuel L. Jackson character comes from this spy thriller. Nobody told me to try and save the planet. I wanted to. Though, if Jackson's character had his way, the number would be a lot higher. In a misguided fight against global warming, billionaire Richmond Valentine hatches a plan to eliminate most of the global population through a special signal. Planet Earth works the same way. Global warming is the fever. Mankind is the virus. And it's up to the Kingsman organization to stop him, which they do. But Valentine is still responsible for more than a thousand deaths in the movie. What are the odds that Valentine and Thanos would get along with each other? My people will be getting in touch with you very soon. I guarantee it. Number seven, Death of Peoples Hernandez, Shaft. What's my name? What's my name? I don't know. Some might argue that Richard Roundtree is the one and only Shaft, but we think Jackson did justice to the Shaft name. As John Shaft II in John Singleton's follow-up, Jackson is equally tough and charming, and it's so satisfying to see him deliver justice. Gotcha. In this case, it's to Peoples Hernandez, a drug kingpin played by Jeffrey Wright. Hernandez teams up with Christian Bale's racist Walter Wade Jr. to sabotage Wade's upcoming trial. In this final confrontation, Hernandez thinks he's one step ahead of Shaft with his hidden gun. Look. This is between you and me. Let her go. But little does he know, Shaft is equally prepared. Number six, a farewell to snakes. Snakes on a plane. It isn't just humans who need to be concerned about the killing power of Samuel L. Jackson's characters. When Agent Harris calls, 
you come and get me. You got it? In this over-the-top thriller, Jackson's FBI agent Neville Flynn announces, in a particularly iconic way, that he's quite fed up with the reptiles on board. Enough is enough! I have had it with these mother- In a last-ditch effort to save everyone, Flynn shoots out the plane windows, sending things flying out, including the troublesome snakes. It's less reckless than it sounds, as Flynn makes sure everyone is safely secured before firing. And is there a completely safe way to deal with a problem like snakes on a plane? Freeze! Freeze! Jordan, put your ass in it! Oh, this part ain't in the game. This crashing part of the game, huh? Number 5. Nick Fury vs. Hydra Captain America The Winter Soldier Nick Fury might not have any superpowers, but to us, that just makes him even cooler. Oh, and the fact that he has an eye patch and is played by Samuel L. Jackson doesn't hurt either. Last time I trusted someone, I lost an eye. In this scene, from the second Captain America movie, Robert Redford's Alexander Pierce, a member of the evil organization Hydra, orders Fury to be killed. You wanna see my lease? Fury's car is ambushed by Hydra forces disguised as law enforcement, and it seems like his car's reinforcements might not save him. Fortunately, Fury understands that a good offense and defense are equally important. As for what happened to Pierce, stay tuned. But if you want to stay ahead of me, Mr. Secretary, you need to keep both eyes open. Number 4. Death of General Smithers, The Hateful Eight if there are two things Quentin Tarantino movies are known for, it's violence and Samuel L. Jackson. Got room for one more? In this revisionist western, which largely takes place in a lodge during a blizzard, Jackson's Major Marquis Warren, a Civil War vet, finds himself around some unfamiliar types. One of these is Sanford Smithers, a veteran who fought for the Confederacy, played by Bruce Stern. General Sanford Smithers? Battle of Baton Rouge? Warren taunts General Smithers about the death of his son, leaving his gun out within Sanford's reach. However, once Sanford goes for his gun, Warren is already ahead of him. It's one of the most uncomfortable scenes Tarantino has ever made, but the payoff is worth it. It was cold the day I killed your boy. Number 3. Shooting Scenes – A Time to Kill How far would you go for the people you love? Didn't think I'd do it, did you? That's a question posed by this crime drama based on the novel by John Grisham. After his 10-year-old daughter is brutally attacked, Carl Lee Haley, a man in small-town Mississippi, played by Jackson, learns her attackers likely won't face justice. You got a daughter, Jake. What would you do? So he takes matters into his own hands, opening fire at the courthouse while they're in handcuffs. It's a harrowing scene to watch, both for the violence and for the anguish experienced by Jackson and the witnesses. Whatever stance you take on vigilantism, Jackson does an amazing job of selling Haley's rage. Yes, they deserve to die, and I hope they burn in hell! Number 2. Death of Alexander Pierce, Captain America, The Winter Soldier You wouldn't expect Nick Fury to just forgive and forget after an attack like the one in Captain America, The Winter Soldier, would you? I'm sorry to have to do this, but I had no place else to crash. After faking his own death, Fury makes Pierce allow him and Natasha Romanoff, aka Black Widow, to tell the world about Hydra and their nefarious activity. Alexander Pierce is their leader. A struggle ensues, but Fury and Romanoff are triumphant, leaving Pierce with some choice last words. You know, that was the time I would have taken a bullet for you. You already did. It's a moment that feels more out of a spy thriller than a superhero movie, and that's what makes The Winter Soldier one of our favorite MCU movies. Hail Hydra. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Ezekiel 2517 – Pulp Fiction There aren't many non-biblical figures who are as associated with scripture verse as Samuel L. Jackson. One of Jackson's best performances comes from the movie that made him a star, and this scene is perhaps his most iconic. Big Kahuna Burger. Big Kahuna Burger? That's that Hawaiian burger joint. 
I hear they got some tasty burger. After Jackson's Jules and fellow hitman Vincent, played by John Travolta, visits some men who betrayed their boss, he lets his gun and his words carry equal weight. The path of the righteous man is beset on all sides by the inequities of the selfish and the tyranny of evil men. Right before delivering a fatal blow, Jules launches into a recitation of the Bible passage, which isn't entirely biblically accurate. And you will know my name is the Lord when I lay my vengeance upon thee. The intensity in his eyes and voice is enough to bring down a house. After this scene, there was no question, Samuel L. Jackson was a movie star. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.